previously on Cal Poly Survivor. And Dylan's is 62.5%. The correct answer is 62.5%. I have no idea what's going on in the game. I was pretending to flip. I actually stick, stuck with my drive. And she fully was like, yeah, it was me. And I was like, I know that's not true. Like, why are you <laughs> saying that? I'm so done for final three of you, you know? That's, that's That'd be ideal. That's Everyone's mad at Lila for flipping. They're mad at Dylan for flipping. And I just keep getting lied to. Really don't know what to do. I'm gonna start just reaching out to people. I think Soren is gonna be the one that goes ends up going. I, I, I am getting the feeling it's just not looking great for me. Lila is coming after me. I got a call from Dylan being like, dude, I'm so sorry, but I told you. Like I contacted Lila directly. And I said, I know you're coming after me. Dylan told me. I want Dylan out of this game. I know he's targeting me. And Seventh person voted out. It's Random Cal Poly Season 1. Sorry. It's been fine, guys. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. That's four. That's not my first time in your life. I felt like a... Ah, God, I'm just... It's just, like, kind of heartbreaking, you know? Oh, sorry, Soren. We voted Soren. Yeah, we that was so dis- out. I tried everything I could, um, but when I came to the understanding that there was nothing else I could do, um, I really had to start thinking about myself and what game I need to play. This is like one of those votes where I was just like, I don't even want to do this one. I just like, <laughs> I'm just yeah. doing it because it's what will get me to win. And I was like, I do care about the win a little bit more. <laughs> no, literally. Yeah. But it's like, you know, it's a game, so, you know, He's a nice guy, out, yeah. it was tough, so. Um, but hey, if anybody has been paying attention to the numbers now, four um. previous four, or former yellow team members exist, and four and three former green team members exist, which means the alliance for the yellow team is winning. Okay, I am going to meet up with Lila. We're going to talk. It's been the first time we've talked since she um since she backstabbed me and lied to my face so hopefully it goes well um i know that i need to start working with people on the other side and it's going to be the start of that um i definitely want to hear an apology from her i think that's something i'm gonna need in order to get closure and be able to move forward um but yeah i'm willing to hear her we're off. gonna kill all of them we're slaughtering them Yes. Uh, yeah, no, but it's gonna be a complete, uh, you know, massacre from here on out. We just have to make sure that Yellow Team will always be securing uh, individual immunity, which I think we can do. We already saw that all of our members are coming around, and that's good. And so, yeah, uh, watch out, former Green Team members, the former Green Team Alliance, uh, we're coming. People don't know that we're working together, and it's believable that I still hate her because of what she did. Even though um, I am ready to move forward. Um, and yeah, so basically that's it. Um, only thing is... Fucking, I just thought about it. We came in with four and the other team came in with seven before the merge. And we have majority. I'm sorry, but that was just like... They won come the, on. They won the first challenge. They won the first battle, but we won the war. It was a Pyrrhic victory, you know. But that's just kind of depressing. Like... How do you lose the how do you lose the majority? I don't I don't know, but oh well. Go us. Go us. The former me. yellow team still lives.
10 and even these up for grabs. Alright, welcome to your final seven Canadian challenge. In this challenge, you are going to do an activity that is based around patience and balance. So what you have to do is you're going to have five of these uh, training nuts. And you need to stack them vertically and straight successfully. <laughs> But you're not going to be able to use your hands, you guys can only use chopsticks. You can use one, two, whatever strategy you want to do is up to you. We'll be different, there'll be different stations on the tables, and pretty much whoever gets five stacked, pretty straight, is going to be the winner. And, uh, any questions? <laughs> My perception right now is either exercise going to be you or Lila out. Okay. okay. That's my perception. Okay. Which is, I've heard both as well. So, um, Lila think... came to me and brought the idea of Hugh. Yeah. And then obviously Hugh came to me and brought the idea of Lila. So it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's how I'm going to I think if he thinks the votes are between like Lila and Hugh and he's not expecting his name at all, um, he's just as good at immunity as Dylan. I mean, as Hugh. So they're both like big threats and I trust Dylan the least. Okay. Um, yeah, you think so? Okay, explain. Like, because, well, I don't, like, obviously they're both threats. I think they're threats in different ways though. Yeah. Um, I think keeping Lila is good for my game because yeah. at that point, like, like her gameplay has been, you know, like wish well, like jumping back and forth. Yeah. Um and like she is somebody that like I blind out of her and she still votes with me, so like that's good for my game to keep her. Yeah. Um and she's a girl, so like yeah. doesn't matter like more girls. Um so and then obviously it helps with the because he is like a big threat, so like the target isn't on anybody else when he's in the game. That's true. So both of them are like but explain your thought process because like now I'm just sitting in the middle and I'm trying to yeah. figure everybody out, you know? So my thing is that I feel like Hugh's a better challenge threat, right? Mm -hmm. And honestly, I would not be shocked if he has an idol, right? Yeah. So let's say we, if we keep him at seven, he just needs to win one of the two challenges, mm -hmm. and then he automatically goes to final four. Yeah. So I'm most concerned about. I know. Okay. Obviously, Dylan has good points, but Dylan's game is like, Dylan's game is better than Hugh's right now. 
um, and he is cutthroat. Like he is not afraid. Like he was really throwing you under the bus. And of course I'm sitting there agreeing like, mm -hmm. yes, I agree. He must go. But I'm back here and I'm like, dude, your game is bigger. And there's a part in that conversation. Like I, I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of call him out and be like, you know, like your game's kind of big too. And then if he, cause like you can play that idol if he hasn't, you can play it up until that five, five, yeah. Yeah, so he could like win one, play that, and then win again. Yeah. And be fine. And he yeah. could definitely do that 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. I mean, good to know like in my head. Mm -hmm. um, do we have like, who else is on board with that? Like obviously Lila, like, could you reach out to me about it? I can get Dina on board. Okay. And then, and there's seven of us right now? Yeah. yeah? Okay, so that makes sense. Cause I think, like if we're gonna go for Hugh, we can't tell Ben. Yeah, I agree. Because they're no, so close. Agree. And like, we just, that, we can't risk like, mm -hmm. so then we have to have enough for like two and then to make them feel comfortable, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, I think Jane would be interested in it too. I think at this point, like she might just be like at the bottom, like trying to figure out where she can fit. I, I'm 100% to do it. I think okay. if we want to like, talk like if you get Dina and we want to talk in that like four yeah then great I'm happy to talk to Janet too and see if like she'd be yeah. willing okay. but also like if we don't need to like tell as many people then yeah. we shouldn't yeah. um so you talk to Dina first uh -huh. Dina kind of scares me just because I guess she reached out to Lila and Hugh and was like yeah it was me who flipped so like yeah. uh, like I like <laughs> you know like she's like I talked to her, I talked to her like uh, Tuesday. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So I told I told all my tribe I flipped because they okay. they sn they sniffed me out and I was okay. like, bro, I'm not getting anywhere with this. So yeah. it's fine. Yeah. So and then. But then she's like, yeah. She, 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 yeah. You know what? You know it's Just like, yeah, I get it. She was like, I was thinking about flipping eventually anyway. So yeah. Okay. She, she was like completely fine with it. And then like we like we had like a nice like heart to heart because we were like talking about like we were like why weren't we working together before? Mm -hmm. And then we realized it was because like the, the core four from the other tribe like put a lot of distrust between the bottom. Yeah. So that's why I never wanted to work with her. And we were like, so she's solid. Mm -hmm. Like she'll do if I liked if like she'll vote for you. Yeah. So. Okay. Cool. And just like mm -hmm. so, you think that like I just want to make sure because when I talked to Huey, he was like, yeah, like when he brought up Lila, he's like, yeah, Dylan would be down to get Lila too. I just want to make sure I'm talking to you. Like you think Hugh? I think he's a bigger threat. He's a bigger threat. Okay. A bigger threat. I think I do too. Okay. So I just want to make sure we're on that same page. So like we're not like oh, but we also like could do yeah. this and we're like we're preferring that. But uh -huh. I agree. Like I think I don't think I think if they're both in the game like. She won't like last as long as him. Like if yeah, we don't yeah, get the book, you know. Yeah. So I think it's better to cut that off if we get the chance to. Not um, I have a little secret. Yeah. He's my roommate. Don't. No, he's not. <laughs> my roommate. <laughs> Damn. What? That's why. That's why I'm so willing to flip right oh away and play the idol. Gosh, <laughs> that's insane. Um, I think I deserve an Oscar for my performance. Um, him telling me he and him are roommates and me pretending I had no idea. This is me waiting for my nomination. And the Oscar goes to Pierce Wallen. That was exactly what I thought he was gonna say, which is, which is, that just means he was telling me the truth. Obviously, it worries me a little bit that like so much of this in general has been hidden from me from both sides. Like I think as soon as Hugh is gone, like if he gets his way and Hugh goes, then I think I'm next. Like if it's not Lila next, it's gonna be me because he's gonna want to sit with like Jaina and Dina at the end. Um, so, and having Jaina in the game still, who just does not appreciate Dylan for like who he is, I think that's a, that's a perfect number to get Dylan out with Ben. Then we have Lila, who, it's not Hugh, but it's someone just as, like, important. And then we still have Dina, Jaina, me, and Lila to get Hugh out if we need to do that. Um, you know, if I decide that's what I want to do for my game. So I think that's the best option. Um, obviously, every single person I talk to, I'm going to be like, yes, yes. But this is where I start playing. This is where I can see, like, a path to the end, and I think I can make big moves in it. Um... And if that involves playing Oscar-worthy um, performances for my fellow cameras, then I will do that. Like, if Dylan wants me to bow down at his knees, I will do that. If Lila wants me to 
um, you know, shade hue, I will do that. If Hugh wants me to, you know, shade Lila, I'll do that. I'll do it. I just, I see my path now and I'm, I'm excited. Um, and I think I, I hope I have everybody fooled. Um, we will see. I can't believe he just said exactly what I thought, but yeah. So this past travel council really screwed up my plans. Um, with Soren, Michaela, and Cooper all gone, it kind of leaves you with no choices except to start working with other people. After Tribal Council, I did not love how everyone hates me. I was a little, you know, sneaky to Soren, which I get. You know, the cross out of, you know, him crossing out my name was, I didn't like seeing that, I'm not gonna lie, but, you know, I thought it was kind of funny in the end. Jaina would not speak to me at all. She, like, I had, think I spoke like two words with her. She wanted to avoid me at all costs. So she's probably coming after me, especially since I've lost immunity. Uh, Lila winning immunity was was kind of okay in the sense that like I'll show for sure be safe, but also I really did want the Hugh Lila war to continue, so for, for therefore I was still safe. Um, currently, the plan right now is that Hugh will be going home. We have my vote, Pierce's vote, uh, Dina's vote, and Lila's vote all to vote Hugh. Hugh and Ben are going to vote Jaina, and then Jaina I don't really care where she votes. Her vote is irrelevant to me, just like how she is in this game right now. No one that I came in with. Um, being Dina and Dylan, um, from what I've been told, have my back anymore. So I'm gonna show them just how much I can do without them. No, but part of me is thinking maybe what if Jaina is the right move because this Hugh Lila war is brewing. And you know, if we keep this going, prolong this for as long as possible, then um, I will be safe still. So th that's another thought. Also, Hugh is not targeting me, whereas Jaina probably is. So that is just one thing to keep in mind in terms of my game going forward. The other, other issue with me um, flipping though is that I've kind of committed myself to voting Q out. So I really don't want to be seen as flaky. And you know, maybe like if they see me as like, bro, I don't want to work with him, he's too flaky. Maybe the target will go on me. And that is the worst case scenario. I do not want to be on a jury of people who have all voted out. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, kind of on another note, I have taken the uh, Myers-Briggs like personality test and found out that I am a planner um, and you can see that in my personal life and I can see that in the game. Um, I need to have some sort of plan and in Survivor that means having um, a strategic alliance which I can tell has been a big key part of my gameplay. Um, so we'll just see how this next travel goes tomorrow but um, until then. Okay, so at the beginning of the week, I was really thinking, you know, Hugh has to go, he's the biggest target right now, and I have no idea if his idol is real or not. Okay, so at the beginning of the week, I was really thinking, you know, Hugh has to go, he's the biggest target right now, and I have no idea if his idol is real or not. So, you know, now would be the time to, like, do something about it. But, you know, in, hi I'm, in hindsight, I'm really thinking, you know, I have to think long-term in my game. What is that? What am, what am I going to think about? Eh. Like going forward, what am, what's going to be better for my game? Because in the short term, yeah, getting Hugh out a big move. But getting Hugh out, that's a huge move. Especially like voting out my own roommate, like whoa. But then like everyone might be targeting me right afterward. So, and I don't want, I came here to win. I want to be a final three, not like get a big move out and then not make the big move, get Hugh out and then go home right away after. So, you know, I'm starting to think maybe, you know, the safe move might be getting Jaina out because she is for sure gunning for me. We know that for a fact. We can continue to foster, to fester this Hugh Lila war. They're gonna keep gunning for each other next week, and they'll probably be like Lila, Lila and Pierce probably both want Hugh. Hugh and Ben will probably both go for, for Lila. It'll leave Dina and I in the middle, and then we can just pick a side whichever way we want to go. So you know, that's where I'm. At. I'm thinking maybe getting Jaina out is for my best for my game. Um, you know, I am the president of my cultural club, of a social cultural club, and you know, as president, I need to think long term. I have to think, you know, what is, like, we can't think of like, oh, spend all this money, make this really good event now, and then what are we going to have for the future? You know, I have to think long term and like, how am I going to get to the final three and how I'm going to win this game? So, that's what I've been thinking. Um, overall, the game has been very stressful, not going to lie, the first part, but it's been really fun. Um, I think, yeah, definitely the first like week before the pre-merge when I was almost put it out that was very you know hard for me to think about and it's like but you know making moves and blindsiding people like that's what i came here to do i came here to like like make i just came here to like do big things i did not come here to just like be dragged to the end um so yeah it's really fun being able to just like blindside people dylan thinks he can pull one over me 
I just told my entire alliance that we're roommates. And by doing this, I built so much trust and it kind of backfired for him. I, I ugh, am at a loss for words. I cannot believe he's targeting me this early. I cannot believe that he revealed that we're roommates. I did not think this was gonna be brought out until, until the end. And that really scares me. That really scares me. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I, I'm in like the most dangerous spot of the game. I, I think I'm a huge threat to win this thing and I think everybody knows it. And <sighs> this roommate bomb does not help. However, I just need to make sure Dylan does not win immunity at all. He cannot 100% know. And I, I'm gunning for that as hard as possible. Um, it is it is hard though, like about the emotional part, which I didn't realize that, you know, people are gonna hate you. It is what it is. Dylan needs to go. Okay, so there were a lot of revelations in the last two hours or so. Um, so I went, I was planning to talk to Pierce about possibly flipping the vote to Jaina, but then I just got a really bad vibe because I told her like, I told her, I was like, yeah, I don't, I feel like we can just keep the war between Lila and Hugh going for next vote. And I was like, if we vote out Jaina now, she's like, yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. But she was very, she was way too like forthcoming about it. Like she totally agreed with it. And if that involves playing Oscar worthy um, performances for my fellow cameras, then I will do that. Like if Dylan wants me to, bow down at his knees, I will do that. And I was just like, that's really suspicious. I don't know why, like, his, the whole point, I feel like for, in Pierce's game, I feel like it's in her best interest to get out all the biggest threats. So why is she so like, okay with it? So Dylan knows that I am so not trusting of him. I was on call, he was on call with Pierce in our room and I walked in, I heard that they were on call and I left immediately. He walked in at the combo point, but I kind of just like said nonsense to like throw him off, to attempt to throw him off just to be like, oh, you know, make sure he didn't hear any info. And then I walked into the study room and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, she's just like talking about the teacher for targeting you. And he was like, okay. And says nothing else. And I'm just like, I'm like, why aren't you interrogating me? You interrogated me when I talked to, about Lila to you. So I'll, I was just a little confused about that. And then, um, so from there, so then he was like, I'm gonna go take a nap. And I was like, I don't know if this man's actually gonna take a nap. He's probably gonna do some like alliance talks. Um, after the end of the call and he went back into the study room, I was gonna go take a nap genuinely. And I was like, hmm, might as well call Pierce, see what's going on. You know, let's, uh, these doors are thin enough. Let's go run up next to the door and just go listen. Let's, let's see what they're talking about. So I go up to the top bunk. A, which is my bed, and I'm in bed, and I call her, and then Dylan barges in. And I was like, you know what? Let's just see. Let's let's hear what's going on. So I kind of I I open the door, and I'm just like, so what's going on in here? And he was listening into our convo, and then he's like, I want to talk to Pierce now. No, 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 whatever. And I, you know, and then I listen to their convo. And I hear him relate this entire combo that we, so we were walking, we got a bunch together and I was saying, I was like, yeah, I think the order will go. We get Jaina now and then we go Lila, then Pierce, and then Ben, Dina, and us two at the final four. I told him that earlier. He's relaying that entire combo to her and I'm like, what the fuck? He's against me at this point. I was like, the votes are not in my favor right now. Like I knew for a fact. I don't even know what he was saying. He knows that I'm after him. He knows that he can't be trusted in this game. When he was like, oh, like, oh my God, why are you listening to my combo? And then, so. We got into a little mini argument where he's like, he confronts me about, you know, some of the things I did. I made, did he confront me about me spilling the roommate tea? Yes. Did he confront me about um, going through his stuff? Yes. Did he confront me about, I don't know. He confronted me about, about targeting him this vote? Yeah. So, you know, at that point I realized my game is not in the best state at the moment. He knows that it's not the right move for coming after me. And he's probably going to pay the price tonight. I don't think anybody trusts him. Like in theory, if, if he's telling Pierce everything, that means him and Pierce are together. He's, she's not with me. Jaina's gonna vote me out in a heartbeat and I have not talked to Ben all week. So, you know, it's fine. Yeah, I, I knew, I was like the writing's on the wall. I'm probably getting voted out tonight. Um, and I, yeah, so good for Hugh. I'm gonna vote for him at the end, unless he doesn't make it. Well, he better, I'm gonna vote for him at the end if he makes it. Um, so yeah, then we kind of just got to talking. I was like, Hugh, I already know what's going on. Just like, talk, like I want to know what's going on in the entire game. And you know, very sneaky, very, he's very sneaky. He played a very good game, um, so yeah.
talked to Dina and with Dina she was just saying basically last night she told me that it was me and that same way with Soren she was gonna write my name down because um, she wanted to vote with the majority hoping that it would get her an in which it hasn't um, I on the other hand have not had to vote against people that I have promised and um, I have great ins so yeah don't think that's right he's working out too well for her um, and then, yeah, she basically just said that the vote has changed, it's Dylan, she, um, is happy that it's not me, that I'm not going home, which, yeah, I'm happy about too, but I wasn't ever going home. Um, she's such a bandwagon, she only votes with the majority, and I just don't see that working for her much longer. Um, she's gonna have to make some moves, she's gonna have to risk something. Um, and definitely start playing the game. Then after that, I talked to Hugh, um, and Hugh, Mr. Nervous all the time. Um, you know, he feels good about going into this vote, voting out Dylan, hey. Um, what a crazy day this has been. I cannot put into words, like, I did not think this was gonna happen. First, the eavesdropping. Second, like, Dylan finding out about basically everything. I kind of spilled my game. Maybe a mistake, but I really don't think he's gonna use it against me. Um, Cause honestly, I said that to him as like person to person, like roommate to roommate, you know what I'm saying? And one, he should not wanna have come after me in this game. Two, he should not look through my, st uh, one, he should not have uh, looked through my stuff. Two, he shouldn't have gone after me and then lied to me about it. And three, he should have never revealed that we were roommates. You know, three strikes, you're out. I'm so sorry, Dylan. Like. You're my homie, you sleep under me, directly under me, but tonight it doesn't look good for you. Going into the future, I don't know, I just had got a conversation with uh, Dina and it went like okay-ish. We kind of expressed similar sentiments and I kind of said like, I knew you was between you and me and Jaina. And if I'm honest, like I'm just trying to make the moves that I think are best for my game. And um, I, I just don't know if I want to work with her. The issue is, like, she's not a threat. Uh, she's not a threat to win this thing. And it's kind of scary, like, voting her out, because I know I could probably beat her in the end. But now I really need to think about who I want to sit next to and who is going to take me. Those are my two criteria for these next two votes. I obviously still have my idol in my pocket. Um, I will be bringing that tonight because it, who knows it could turn on me um, But we'll see we'll see what happens. What a crazy day. This has been all respect to Dylan But you just got outplayed. Sorry Just talked to Lila um, Kind of about how we're feeling going into this tribal. Um, I've also talked to Dylan Dina and Hugh um, So let's just start from the beginning Dylan texted me today and he said that he knows it's him going home and that he wants to talk and leave things on a good note. Um, so I said I would hear him out and it was basically just us talking. Um, he came clean about a lot of things um, from going through Hugh's things to the Cooper vote that he coordinated um, and yeah, just kind of, you know, I mean, everybody knows he played a dirty, hard game, um, but I can appreciate that he wanted to come clean, leave things on a good note um, before he went home. Okay, so basically, um, after talking to Dina, I talked to Hugh on the phone, and we just talked about how we feel good voting out Dylan. Um, it's a, he's a threat, um, and he's just, Dylan's been attacking Hugh, so Hugh feels like he needs to um, get him back for it. Um, and yeah, I think the biggest thing that's on my mind right now is just the fact that, like, I need to make sure that I can form bonds with people who have been together since day one, and I haven't. Um, like, I was talking to Lila after I talked to Hugh, and, um, we basically just talked about how her and I really want to work to together. She feels like Hugh doesn't want to work with her as much and um also pierce um who is less 
likely to keep Lila in the game. Um, but I think we need to either get Ben out or flush the idol out, either way. Um, but yeah, it's just um, yeah, kind of it. That's where my mind is at. I feel pretty secure. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of it. So it's the morning of the tribal council and I have a plan going in. I talked to Lila, Ben, and Pierce yesterday, and I also talked to Jaina, and I'm texting a little with Dina. Um, the plan is to get Dylan out. Um, I informed Jaina and everybody that was on the original Big Birds. That was the plan. I convinced Lila that he was pinning us against each other, which he was, but I definitely played into it. And hopefully he goes home. I heard that the target switched off of me, which is kind of nice onto Jaina, but I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, it 100% still could be me, and that's very, very scary. And I definitely expected to be one of the first to go. So to be here uh, in the final seven is just crazy, and I think I can go all the way if I'm able to make it past this vote tonight. Dylan's targeting me. I don't know why he is. He threw out everything. Everybody knows that there's suspicion that I might have the idol now, which is very, very scary. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Ideally, I would probably want to sit next to people that I know I can beat. Pierce seems like to be one of the bigger threats, just socially. Seems like everybody likes her. I mean, I would vote for her if I was in the jury. Um, however, I think I, th I can beat anybody on the season. Realistically, I, I have the confidence. I've made the moves. I've made the bonds. And I've really played my heart out, and I think people respect that. Um, even people that I voted against said that they respect that. You know, I idled out Cooper, and he gave me a handshake directly afterwards, and was like, a good move, what, whatever. So things like that really, really give me confidence that I can go all the way. However, people know that I'm a big threat. People know that I can win this thing, so they want to target me. Obviously, Lila tried to. Kind of backfired on her. And now we're targeting Dylan. However... That is something I definitely have not forgotten because I know she approached Dylan with the plan to vote me out. I know she approached Pierce. I know she's probably been trying to talk to other people and Lila could have a great shot to win this thing. I mean, she's very, very threatening. She's a great liar, very smart, very strategic and very socially pretty good. Um, I think she was able to flip Jaina, which is something I did not expect was coming. Um, I think a lot to do with that is me exposing Dylan, obviously. All right, so I'm on the way to Tribal with Dina. Hey. Um, we are on our way and pretty much everyone's voting for Dylan, which sucks because the two of us- We had a final three. Yeah, like <laughs> we were really looking forward to working with him, like genuinely well. to final three, but he kind of screwed that one up, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I mean, he told Hugh everything no about our conversation. Too. Yeah. Like, it just, I don't know. I'm sorry, Dylan, but we're literally lost. Or I don't know. No, no, I know it's not. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think. Not lost. Yeah, um, this is just the way it had to be. And hopefully there's no hard feelings. Um, you played a great game. Yeah. You were very strategic and oh, much respect. Strategic, yeah, yeah. But, but much respect <laughs> and yeah. See you at the reunion. So, 10 minutes before tribal, got my food. Yeah, rub hub order. Um, Dylan knows he's going. Uh, it's just in everyone's best interest. He tried to scramble and it just didn't work. Um, we'll see who he votes for. I have a lot of respect for him. Obviously, he's my roommate. Like, he's, he's a good friend of mine. I'm like, I'm gonna be honest. And it sucks voting him out, but he did it himself, unfortunately. And. I here, came here to play Survivor and game's the game and I think he feels the same way so I have the utmost respect for him. I think he made the right moves. I think unfortunately he just got outplayed by me. Sorry. Uh, usually this D line. Uh, but I'll, I'll draw a nice little happy face and call it a day. Survivor for over a month. Ben, what has this whole experience meant to you so far? It's been like, you know, a month full of 
survivor thing, so I'd say you know, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, it's definitely become one of those things where as time goes on, it's gotten easier to get the hang of. I, I can admit that, you know, I'm, I haven't seen too much Survivor, uh, none actually, but I feel like now I'm really getting a grasp and I feel like coming into this with kind of no idea about what it's about. I feel very comfortable with knowing how to game work. That's all I could say at the time. Gina, what has this experience meant for you and uh, what do you, you enjoy about it? Um, after like a month of playing this, I'm just like always questioning things. Like even in my real life, I'm like, oh, you're lying to me. Like, I don't know, it's just weird. So yeah, it's been fun. It's changed my mindset a lot. Um, I disagree with Ben. It has not become easier the more we play. It has become more difficult, actually. So yeah, that's what I think. Dylan, do you agree with that a little bit, that maybe the game has leaked into your personal life or regular life a little bit? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it definitely has lived in my personal life a lot. Um, you know, it's really fun always, like, talking to, like, my, my friends about it and, like, 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 filling them out, like, oh, this is happening in the game right now, like, the, 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 the like, gossiping with them. So, it definitely has lived a lot in my personal life. <laughs> Here, so, today we have three jury members sitting there observing. Yeah. What do you think they're looking for? Um... I don't know. I think mean, there's two sides to everything. Um, I think regardless, at each tribal, they're probably looking for um, what decision is made um, based on the last tribal, how they think it got there, and then, you know, who's playing a respectable game, which that's up to the people. Lila, do you have any ideas what you think the jury might be wanting? Do, do they want a loyal game? Do they want a backstabbing game or something in the middle, maybe? I mean, honestly, no, because every person is different. Like, I know what I would vote for, like, if I was on the jury, but I have no idea what they would do. It's kind of every person is different. Dana, we have a vote tonight. What is going into your decision making tonight? Um, well, as you can see, my lovely alliance is sitting right behind the jury. Um, and so a lot in my mind right now is just kind of playing the game, not only for myself, but for them. Um, you know, it gets to a point in the game where tribal alliances um, kind of have to be rethought. And um, um, I just think there's a lot going in. You have to make new strategies with every tribal council because um, you really don't know who's going to stay and who's going to go. And so just thinking about who do you want to keep around? What's best for your own game? I know everybody sitting next to me right now is thinking the same thing. It's very much an individual game in my perspective at this point. Um, and so I think that a lot is going to change. Ben, do you agree with that? Or do you think that it's still, is there a team game? Or are you, do you think everybody's more focused on their self, themselves now that we're down in numbers? I mean, <coughs> I've only really communicated with a few people. so. From what I can tell, it's kind of a team game, but I think if I were able to be like watching this, like you know, as a viewer, I could probably tell from you know a better viewpoint. But right now, it kind of seems like a team game because I just haven't really heard from a whole lot of people. But I think that's on my part too. I haven't really reached out a whole lot, so you know, it's a two-way street with that. Hugh, what goes into your thoughts when putting someone off at this point in the game compared to maybe what you would have done back in Final Ten? Um, for me, it stayed pretty similar, except moving into the end game. It's who can I really trust? Who do I think is going to bring me farther? Um, and who's not going to tell everybody that we're roommates? I don't know if the jury knows, but Dylan and I are roommates, and he kind of exposed that. <laughs> 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 okay, we fucking agreed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you agreed to let me say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Is there anybody else thinking that way? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you thinking, Wyla? I mean, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> Nothing specific yet. Right, you guys are a very talkative bunch today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. If there's nothing else that needs to be said, I think it's time to vote. Pierce, you're going to be the first one up. He told me to spell his name correctly and told me how to spell it. So that's how crazy this vote has been. Um, Dylan, <laughs> we're voting for you tonight. Today was a whirlwind of a day. Um, <laughs> and you played such a good game that I can't, I can't take you further than I take you. So I hope you understand. I've already texted you. Played a great game, but today you gotta go. This is for, let me think of all the things. Um, one, looking through my stuff. Two, targeting me and then lying to my face about it. And three, just being devious. I still love you though. I'm gonna tell you about I have votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol or advantage and they'd like to play it, that would be the time to do so. All right, I'll read the votes. Once the decision is final, you'll be asked to leave the tribal council immediately. First vote, Dylan. Second vote. Hugh. One vote, Dylan. One vote, Hugh. Third vote. Dylan. Fourth vote. Dylan. That's three votes, Dylan. That's one vote, Hugh. Three votes left. Eighth person voted out survivor and the sixth member of our jury. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to grab the board bring it to me. The time is spoken. <laughs> okay. We are at the final six, getting ever closer to the finale. Hope you guys are ready for it. So obviously my plan out worked out this week and I was able to get out Dylan, he was targeting me, Lila was targeting me, and I was able to flip the vote on its head and send him packing. It's a little awkward now that <laughs> we're roommates and he's gonna be sleeping right under me, uh, under the top bunk, he's the bottom, so we'll see how that goes. But going into this challenge, going to the next couple votes, I'm kind of in a precarious situation because there's like really two ways I could go and I gotta do what's best for my game. Obviously, people view me as a threat. That's very scary. I didn't think I was going to be viewed as that way. Um, but unfortunately, I'm in this situation. The game is the game, so I'm here to play. I'm here to make a move, and we'll see what happens.